good afternoon. I'm standing here on Beach Hill over on the southeastern side of Haywards Heath. I'm about to show you around number 37, which is this lovely old semi-detached house here. Um, this is These are one of the bigger uh, semi-detached houses on this estate. You'll see it's, it, the standard house was a three double bedroom semi-detached house. These guys have also converted the loft. Um, so they've actually got four double size bedrooms and two bathrooms. But this is a very popular spot with families, literally, before I get run down, just up the road on the right is the Northernswood Primary School, which is why a lot of people want to live on this side of town. Really good primary school. And also within half a mile, so like a 10 minute walk back up the hill, you're at the Princess Royal Hospital. So it's a very good position for families or those working at the hospital. Um, let's come and show you around. So as you can see, plenty of driveway parking. They've got parking for two or three cars here with a bit more landscaping, you could have probably squeezed another one on. I'm just gonna quickly show you the garage. Now this still is a garage, which so many people now seem to be, oh, it's been locked actually, but it's a decent sized garage. Um, but a lot of people are converting that into another office. And then there you've got a storage cupboard handy for bits and bobs. So come inside. Take my shoes off. So nice little entrance lobby. And this is where, funny enough, some people have converted that into a home office. Some have even made it a downstairs bedroom suite. You punch a doorway straight through that uh, door there. So, got the great big lounge stroke dining room. So great big double aspect room. Obviously window to the front. And you've got the sliding patio doors out to the gardens. But what a lot of people have done again, sorry it sounds like I'm spending all your money. If the day came when you're going to replace the kitchen, you may as well take that wall out and make more of a kitchen diner across the back. So lots of potential there. Very handy understairs cupboard. And then the kitchen, this was all refitted a few years ago. So my clients, they've been here 35 years. I think these houses were built around the end of the 70s, 90, early 1980s. But they've been here 35 years. You'll see when we get upstairs, but the loft conversion was done roughly 15 years ago. But really nice garden. I'll show you out there in a moment as well and then come upstairs. So the first floor is pretty much as it was, which are decent sized three bedroom houses. Most of the houses built at this sort of time, you had two and a half bedrooms really. So on the landing, you've got one front bedroom there, easily takes a double bed. And that's obviously overlooking the front. The other front bedroom, again, decent sized double. Built-in wardrobes in this one, again, overlooking the front. And you can see across the road, mainly detached houses opposite. And then the back bedroom, this was the smallest one, which again, by today's standards, this will take a double bed. And that's overlooking the back. So quite handy, actually. We're looking out the back here. You've just got some garages behind, which are actually owned by these houses behind in Rowan Close. So we're on the literally around the corner from a road called Laburnum Way. Rowan Close is a cul-de-sac there. And if you, we've well, got loads of little cut throughs, but there's a little Tesco Express, a doctor's surgery, and a pharmacy just around the corner. So very handy. Again, wardrobe in this one. And then the bathroom, that has all been revamped. Really nicely done. Absolutely spotless. That's the big airing cover there. That's got the boiler in it. And then this is where it gets interesting. So you've got a loft conversion. Now they've made, you'll see, they've made it just a fabulous big master bedroom, but you could have gone really crazy up here, made this all part of the space. So instead, they've got this as a little home office area, very useful. And then the bedroom is a super sized double. So plenty of room, as you can see, for a double bed. Again, windows to the back. Now you've got a bus service over on this side of town, so that's linking you with the railway station and over into the town centre. Children from this side of this town go to Oak Hall Community College down in Linfield, which is very handy. That's actually a lot closer than you think, because on foot, it's not even a mile. By car, it's a lot longer. And then this one's got the ensuite. Super sized shower in here. Again, this has all been revamped. Absolutely spotless. It's very clean and tidy throughout. Now, if you're a family, then this would absolutely work a treat for you if you obviously are looking at Northamswood Primary School. Uh, a lot, quite a lot of the properties I sell on this side of town generally are sold to people already living here with either, a, funny enough, a growing family or people even downsizing because it's just a really lovely part of Hayward's Heath. There's no big frills. It's just a good steady bit of town. There's no rough bits. It's just a nice part of the part of Hayward's Heath. And like I say, it's just a, a really friendly family area. So that's the inside. Let me give you a quick glimpse of the back garden. 
Now the garden, we've measured at 40 feet by about 23 feet. It's on two levels. As you can see, we've got this upper terrace with a pagoda and a very productive grapevine growing in there. That's all rather lovely. We'd all like to sit there. And of course, the lower section of garden, which is more lawn, but nice and private. So lots of high hedges around it. I'm here just after lunchtime. So the back garden is northwest facing. So the sun sets over in that corner there. Um, people knock a north facing garden. North is over in that direction. But even if it was north facing, the sun always sets on your western fence. But this one, because you're swinging west, you're getting all that evening sun. So there you go. That is number 37 Northlands Avenue. It's a great big four bedroom semi-detached house. It's still got a garage, which offers potential for conversion into another home office, kids playroom, or even a ground floor bedroom suite. You've got two gates to the side. Um, very close to a good primary school. You can walk around the corner to the local shops and it's easy to get up to the hospital. But I hope that gives you a better impression than just staring at a few photographs. Any questions, please get in touch with Mansell McTaggart in Hayward Teeth. Thanks for watching.